this is Terraria. Yay, Terraria! So Calliope has recently gotten into this game and she's been wanting to show it to me and to you. Uh, we were actually gonna play some multiplayer, uh, but it has a weird relationship with the family settings on the Xbox and we could not get it to give Calliope permission to play multiplayer with me. So she's gonna play single player and I'm just gonna be along for the ride, which is fine, because I'm terrible at this game. I tried to play the tutorial and I was absolute garbage. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you're able to do with it, Calliope. This one. A, 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 Brainy cape? A, yes, I didn't name it. So, so I you, am a cactus. You are a cactus, okay. Is that... I'm just I'm just showing you guys this world I have that I made with this character that I made for the stream. Is, is it hard to be a cactus? Uh, no, it's, I, I, it's just I think it's a little stronger. This is a gravestone. I got impaled by a demon eye. So do you, uh, does it leave a gravestone everywhere you die? Uh, yes. You know, one problem this I had is the desert. I think when I was playing in the tutorial, they were like, "Here, this is how you you know you need to kill slimes in order to make torches." I was like, "Okay," and the only slime I saw was in a tunnel. So I jumped down in the tunnel, and I could not get back out of the tunnel again. Uh, you can place blocks. That is a thing I did not know how to do. I didn't even know how to dig. Uh, oh. You need to use your pickaxe. The axe is only useful for chopping trees. That is, that's it. I will show you. I yeah. Okay, now let's. Now we will go to save and exit so we can go and make a new world. Okay, so we're starting from scratch. That all should be really no, helpful. I didn't mean to make a new character. I meant to make a new world. Okay. I'll just make a small uh, class. So you can have the same character bopping around between different worlds? Yes. Will they take all their inventory with them? I don't know. I've never done this before. Okay, let's find out, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't... The hollow of fraud. No, it is. Uh, uh. Steve-O says, hello, American people. Yes. He's, he's English. Oh, okay. Stream. Strem. 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 That's, yes, that's perfect. Great. <clears throat> Desertification. <laughs> so, uh... Zedric says, I used to play this all the time. I, I tried it out when it was new on PC, and it seemed pretty fun, but also there was just a lot to it, and I, I ended up just sort of moving on to other things, because I was, I was like, there's so much here. I could spend forever on it, but I need to try other okay, games. Okay, hello, Jake. Oh, wait a second. I think you're sort of covering where the inventory is supposed to go. Oh, oh. Well, and the other... Should I be down no, here, No, then? no, 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 no. Next to that one. Over here? There, yeah. That, uh, okay. That, like, sort of covers the uh, the stuff I'm wearing. Also, I seem to bring my inventory. That's okay. sort of weird, but it, I think it's fine. Okay, so here, here a cave. Make a torch. You, oh, so you already had a torch? I already had 5,000 torches. So okay, that's a lot <laughs> this, that less than 5,000, but I'm just going to do that. Okay, now I will open this. Uh, oh. Oh, a blowpipe. A herb bag. A bottle. Some bottles. A wood. Put that with my other wood. Um, okay, take out my It's torches. you just slapping torches on the wall like you do in Minecraft. This game does feel very Minecraft inspired, like it's side-scrolly side Minecraft. Though, I think the blocks are a little smaller relative to your character. Uh, yes, they're three block. Oh, you're three blocks tall instead of two blocks tall like in Minecraft? Mm. I think a lot, I think that the Terraria fans don't like it when people compare this game to, Terraria, to, to Minecraft. Oh, even, even positively? Even saying, this game is cool. Unlike dumb old Minecraft. It's like, it's like if it's like that, they probably are like, well, I don't know. Well, so Sometimes it, you can't place the torches. Is it difficult to, um, oh, is does this wall surface just not, is it not friendly to torches? I think so. Oh, hello, red slime. I will throw my boomerang at you. Oh, no. Oh, ah! rocks. Ah! 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 Oh, gosh! Oh. Wow, that was very sudden. Yes. That, that was an abrupt death. Okay, the, the, the cave music started playing. Also, uh, I'm playing as a classic character, so I only drop money when I die. Oh, so you get to keep all your other equipment. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I am a classic character. So you, you could be like some kind of hardcore character that loses all their equipment when they die, and then you have to go no, back and collect no, it? No, the hardcore character, uh, when they die, they're, they die. 
Oh, okay. Oh, th is there something between classic and hardcore? Yes, there's medium core. I don't, I don't think that's really a word. <laughs> oh, you can stick core after everything. The entire music industry will tell you. You can stick the word core after anything you want. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a desert. It's where you get cactus. So, uh, Zedric <laughs> says, I played this before I played Minecraft. So my friend, when my friend tried to get me to play Minecraft, he said it's like Terraria, only 3D. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's And that... a lot of Minecraft people co sometimes call this game, uh, 2D Minecraft. That makes sense. I see a green slime. I should mention that Rosenberg joined us as well and said RIP when we, uh, when we died. Oh, okay. So you're carrying the torch, and that gives you light oh, around you. Oh, I just you. realized that there isn't a wall. If you can see it, you can see that the wall is moving oh, differently. Oh, interesting. So yeah, there isn't a wall behind us. That makes sense. So we're used to seeing sky where there's no wall. But here, you're actually seeing distant dirt. Yes, very distant. Is it difficult using a controller to, like, put things exactly where you want them? Uh... Okay, so there's an option for smart cursor, which is not on right now. This is the smart cursor. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and it automatically turns off when you want to place things. Okay, so so if you turn on smart cursor, it like automatically tries to like also, grab I, onto nearby things that you might want to interact with. Also, at one point, I accidentally made nine campfires, and campfires need torches to be crafted. And I was trying to craft a bunch of torches when I made them. So, so you ended up wasting a bunch of stuff? Yeah, I ended up wasting so many torches. <laughs> Also, look, look at the water. It is very blue. It turned brown. Oh, could, did you get sand in it? I don't know. Oh, weird. Uh, I can get back up if I place block. Let's see. Okay, I have wood. I have, oh, wait, so I have, wait, why yeah, do so I this is the thing I could not figure out how to do. I had a bunch of wood, but I didn't know that I could place them. Yeah, you can, you can place, you can place wood. Also, uh, I have fa four fallen stars. I need one more to make a mana star, which I can consume to increase my mana in the, cor in the corner above us. Okay. Okay, so I will... You get two stars of mana, but you can have more stars of mana? Okay, so you're making that just can tall I... enough you can jump onto it. Do they have to connect all to each other, or can you just attach them to the back wall? Oh, you can attach them to the back wall. You nice. can also just place them floating. So it's like you built a bunch of scaffolding. Interesting. Yes, so I can leave. I really like this place. This is my favorite place. The uh, the, the woodsy biome. Yeah, the yeah the woods. What are those mushrooms for? Uh, those mushrooms. When you eat them, they heal you. But I am in need of no health. I'll just take these mushrooms. Real quick. They they just they can grow randomly. So yeah. I've just got this obsession with picking up mushrooms that I got from playing Vigor. So, in Vigor, you get food from picking up mushrooms too. Well, well, there isn't really food, it's just... Wait, uh, wait, why? Wait, what? Hello. So Jake is your uh, your tutorial guy? Yeah, and then crafting. So if you're starting in a new area, what's the first thing you actually want to do? Uh, a chop wood to get wood to make house. Okay. I should make house. Do, uh, can you accidentally chop Jake? Mm, nope. Good. Jake is just immune. Yeah, <laughs> he's just immune to everything, except for enemies. He actually has a bow and arrow. Oh, okay. Like me. Whoa. <laughs> Bows are are, are, are kind of hard to aim, so I usually use the damage wood and boomerang. Also, things are given just random like titles, like damaged mm. or legendary, <laughs> like given to my old copper short sword. So do those words, they, do they mean things about the items? I don't think so. Okay. I think they're just random titles. Okay, I was thinking like, because like, games like Diablo, for instance, has got, you know, rules for like, if you see a certain name on an item, it means it's gotten a certain buff on it. By the way, uh, Dr. Lackenstein showed up and said that uh, this is a really fun game. Zedric says that uh, uh, his favorite biome is actually the red biome. Have you seen that one? Uh... I, I don't really think so. Uh, my that sounds least like a favorite, scary one. The least favorite biome that I've been in is the one that's that's very it's it's really purple. Um mm -hmm. and and monsters will also spawn in the daytime. Oh gosh. And it's like it's very scary. Oh, what? Is this is this like Minecraft where you have to um, make yourself a house to survive the night because bad stuff comes out at night? Uh, yes, like zombies. Oh, okay. Well, let's, uh, yeah. Although something different is there is very many color slime. 
And they also don't, don't uh, they all, can also spawn in a lot of different places. It's interesting how the parallaxing background just sort of changes completely when you uh, change biomes like that. Same with the music. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true, huh? They do. So, uh, Spade, uh, you didn't miss anything. I didn't stream State of Decay 2 today. I might try to stream it tomorrow. I just was not feeling it up, up to it today. For those of you who don't know, uh, I got COVID last week, and I'm still kind of exhausted all the time. Oh, gosh. Ow. That was a lot of life that you just lost. Good thing you got all those shrooms. Yes, uh, it heals me for for some, for some time. Uh, now I'll just mine my way out of here. But yeah, so I've been just like going to meetings uh, during the day leaves me needing a nap, and so uh, I, I just didn't feel up to streaming State of Decay 2 today. But I'll, I'll try to make up for it a little bit later. But the thing I was not going to skimp on this week, because I already canceled it last week, was streaming with the kids. So streaming with Calliope today, I'll definitely stream with Milo tomorrow, um, even if that's the only streaming I do. So. Okay, I will kill this guy. Hey! Bouncy dudes? Oh, infuriating. Also, I think the blue ones have more health, especially the rainy blue ones, okay. which have umbrellas and are very big. By the way, thank you for the uh, kind words, people who are being supportive about my illness, like Jedi Psychtricks and Rosenberg. I really appreciate it. Okay. So, Zedric says each world has got a red or purple biome. Purple is corrupted, and red is meat. Uh, that sounds amazing. I actually, um... I entered the word meat punk into meat mid journey one time and I got some amazing disturbing images out of it. Uh, I think I think I shared them on Twitter at one point, but it was ages ago. I, I could do it again. Sometime I should stream myself using mid journey just because it's such a fascinating piece of software. Ha! You were about to hit me until I deflected. Haha, <laughs> nice. Uh uh the uh, these potions seem to be really common. They just bring you right back to your spawn. Oh, okay. So if I ever that, get that's lost... That's what the gold potion is? No, 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 no. The blue one. Oh, the blue ones. I assume the blue ones are mana potions because they, they're a little star like your mana. Uh, no, the mana's more purple. Oh, uh, okay. Wait a second. There's a chest here. Uh, guarding. What? Oh, there's a little, there's a little slime coming towards you. A tool. They're leapfrogging. There, there. you go. Squish them. Oh, there's an evil squirrel coming, too. Evil squirrel? Oh, wait. Yeah, there's an evil squirrel and a green slime. I think it's just a normal squirrel. Oh, no, it was definitely evil. It definitely deserved what you did to it. Hello, duck! There's a Oh, it's an evil duck, too? No, he's, he's very scared of me, and he can't figure out that that is not a space. Okay, I'll put this into my ammo. He's very scared of me and and is now stuck forever. Oh man, Spade just said that they also just tested positive for COVID and they have an eight hour eight hour drive home. That sounds miserable. I am not I am not happy for you. I'm so sorry. Oh hey, Randolph Court's joined us. Welcome. It seems like it's getting dark outside. Uh should we be concerned about this? Uh if as long okay, so I just I should just like make a couple walls around me and then I should be fine. That blue slime was having none of your attacks. Okay, so I should just make some just make a wall here. Oh uh, yes, the classic Minecraft dirt hut. No, this is wood. Oh it's wood, sorry, I thought it was dirt. You're right, it does look very different. Okay, let's see. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna try to stab this guy through the wall, which has not wa worked in the past. Oh uh, yeah, looks like even though even though the graphics show your uh, show your your weapon going through, I guess they're doing some kind of collision check. Also, uh, chests uh, uh will only will only drop if there's something in it. If there isn't something in it, I mean. You mean they only break if there's something? There's nothing in it? Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Well, that yeah, that's helpful. what I mean. Okay, yes, that works. There you go. Okay, I'll oh, make a campfire. Oh, who's this jerk up to the left? That is zombie. <gasps> yes, he's holding torches. <laughs> uh, I'm going to kill him. I need to kill the torch zombie so I can have torches. 
torch zombie, I will kill the torch zombies. They... Oh, wow, they all have torches. So much torches. Oh, wait, who's this bumblebee looking dude? No, that is an eye. That is a demon eye. Oh, I'll bring him bad. into the light. That's a green demon eye. Okay, you, uh, they are also are, very stupid. Can they can they hurt you or? Uh... Yes, they're they're demon eyes. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't know. Not every part of a demon is par is harmful necessarily. Well, they're flying around chasing me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, this this is gonna be a little like this is gonna be like a little temporary place that I can uh, stay. Oh, so you're making a workbench and everything? Yeah, it, it, this is very temporary since it's not at spawn. Now, can that zombie do anything against that wall? Oh, you got guys coming from the left. I know. Uh, you're fine? Ah, uh, wait a second. Uh, I, I, I always mistake my left and right. So I thought you meant the guys coming from my right. Oh, gotcha. Uh, it's not a blood moon, so they can't get me from the right. Okay, so in a blood moon, they can break down your barricades and uh, yes. stuff? Yes, uh, I'm gonna make a door. It kinda reminds me of uh, Kingdom New Lands. There! Now I am safe. Nice. So they can't come through the door, but you can leave whenever you want? Uh, yeah. They That's can't, cool. they can, o the only time they can go through the door is if I open the door and then let them through. The Dr. Lackensy says that trident is, trident is really nice, but it's so slow. Are most of the weapons faster than the trident? Uh, yes. Yeah. Such as the copper short sword which you spawn with. I like how they jump against the wall a few times. I think they might detect the uh the gap at the top, so they're trying to get to the gap. Gotcha. Okay, I'll put the door right here so that I can attack them. Can they just <laughs> run away if they get to be too much for you? Which they aren't. I just do this. Not. One of them looks like a pirate, but I think I think it's actually an exposed brain that I'm reading as a bandana. Yeah, it's definitely exposed brain. Oh, hello! Hello, come in. Rosenberg is asking if we've heard of this game called Moon Stars. It's apparently coming to uh, Game Pass. I don't think so. I just let a zombie in and then just killed him. I'm looking at pictures from Moon Scars. It seems like it's more aimed at me, less aimed at Calliope, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like some kind of gothic horror violent game. I will just stay above the air. There was, look at this guy. Oh, whoa, he's like been possessed by a, a slime. Did that just happen out in the world or does he spawn that way? He just spawns that way. By the way, a Jedi Psychtrick says, I've been playing too much Cult of the Lamb to notice other games. Oh, uh, so the world that, that, that I have a lot of days on in Cult of the Lamb, uh, 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 it, uh, it have at least, 230 days. You're at 230 think. days in Cult I of the I think. Lamb. I That's haven't crazy. played it in a little bit because I got kind of bored. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can run out of stuff. Yeah, because it's like playing in an earlier cult can also feel pretty boring. I imagine once you've gotten so many things you can do and so many powers, like not having them anymore probably feels pretty limiting. Mm -hmm. it's kind of, and it's kind of to get all the things I want to do. <laughs> so, uh, Zedric says he's been playing Deathloop lately, which just came to, uh, just came to Game Pass. And, uh, yeah, so I loved Deathloop when it came out on PC. That's where I originally played it. And I never, I never actually clinched the ending. Like, I think I unlocked and, and discovered pretty much everything and then just got distracted before the ending happened. So someday I'll have to go back and see if I can make the ending happen because I am very curious about it. Also, the cactus armor, when something hurts you, uh, you, you hurt it back because oh, it's cactus. Oh, because it's cactus, so that makes it... Whoa, who are those little guys? Oh, I got achievement, I think. Oh, okay, that's cool. Hmm. Oh, your achievement is called Hey Listen. You know what that's a reference to? Uh, no. Uh, Zelda, the Ocarina of Time, has a little fairy who would talk to you all the time and say, Hey, listen! Every time, and it's like some of the only dialogue in the game. Wow, it was a rarity achievement. <laughs> I think it's funny how it, oh. how it only registered then. Ooh, yay, a falling star! I can make a mana star now. Cool. 
Okay, I'll make a mana star. Now I will eat it. Om, yum, yum. Oh, now I have got, more mana. You got now. three I, mana stars up there now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what what you do with the mana. People who play Terrarius, how, what the mana? <laughs> uh, Doctor Lackenstein says that those fairies will actually lead you to treasure. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so uh, Jedi Cytrix says at some point uh, you should compare notes because uh, she, she suspects you might have done better than her by far in, uh, in Cult of the Lamb. Uh, you, you are the family expert in Cult of the Lamb. Yes. Um, I've only played a little bit of it. I, I, there were so many other games I've been playing lately that uh, I just haven't spent the time. I played a lot of Vigor, though. Holy crap. Okay, oh. Can't stop playing that game for some reason. Do your weapons ever, like, break? Or once no. you've got it, you've got it forever? I think I got it forever unless I'm playing a character that loses their stuff when they die. Gotcha, okay. Okay, hello, Jake. Uh, J J yeah, Jake, okay. Uh, I want to respawn so that I know exactly where the spawn point is or find a compass and equip the compass. Uh-oh, zombie coming. Oh, zombie. Wait, you got... There you go. So many stars. Also, I think sunflowers are the sun. So they glow. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, they're all glowy. Now I will kill these zombies. I'm pretty sure that you can find, like, traitor guys. I'm just. Oh, no, here's the purple bomb, and here's the thing that spawns in the daytime the soul eater. Oh, well, looks like he ate his soul instead. Yes, but I love the music for this place. Oh, it's got some little, some little dinks and doinks to it. It's like the beginning is really scary, but like, I really like it. I'm really impressed you're able to aim this weapon uh, using your, your controller. Uh, you aim it, you can aim with the right stick. So, are you just like flailing your, oh no. Ah! Oh no. I didn't even realize there was water. Oh, ah, no. I die! Oh, good. I Water. did not die. Wow. Seems like, do you think that guy is going to come down here? Yes. I remember I, I got in a short cave and tried to save myself. Uh, and, it, and a bunch of guys were trying to come down. Uh, no. Also, okay, I need to test something. Ooh, are you not able to dig in that? Maybe. Huh, or maybe you just, do you need like better tools to dig through that? Or? Okay, so this isn't the basic thing, the, the basic pickaxe. Uh -huh. Basic pickaxe is made of copper. This one's made of metal. And and I couldn't break the stuff with the copper one. I may be able to break it with this metal one, but I'm not sure. It's like, it's degrading, but it doesn't seem to be degrading much. Interesting. You might have to just build yourself a million platforms to get out. The Dr. Lackenstein says that he thinks you might need gold or platinum in order to uh, break through that. That doesn't make any sense. Because gold is soft? Yeah, gold is soft. It's soft enough for your job to make an indent in something thick enough. It's something as thick as a as a metal. And that's why people bite the metals to see if it's real gold. Yeah, I think platinum's a little bit harder, but it's not hard like an industrial metal like iron. It's just rare. Lackenzy says, I didn't make the game. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I was just mentioning that that's weird. It's probably because it's more rare. So it's like, oh, the the more rare it is, the better it is. I think a lot of games do that, including Animal Crossing. So Red of course says it actually that he thinks that you might actually need to get something from a, from a boss in order to make a special ore that lets you dig through this material. What? I don't... I've never... I've never beaten a boss in my life. <laughs> I don't even know how to find the bosses. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I obviously don't know. The also, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of Soul Eater guys down there. Yeah. So I'm glad you're up here. Also, the name Soul Eater reminds me of the Death Eater from from, from the Harry Potter with the guys. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Well, luckily, you've been collecting a zillion wood. 
so. Yeah, I just chopped down a bunch of trees in my other world to make room for a house. You're just like, let's murder every tree. I needed room for a house. <laughs> okay, the way I said it, and you, and the way you said that you were, that I was murdering the trees, made me think like, like I was breaking other people's houses and going like, but I needed room for my house. <laughs> Randall Court says uh, there's a lot of bosses in this game. The first one appears randomly at night once you have a high enough max health. So how have you been increasing your hearts, by the way? Uh, Is it I, similar you, to you, the stars? You, you find like this this heart. I, I found one time I found this heart thing. <clears throat> this heart looking thing. Uh, ooh, look the dragonflies right there. Neat. Right, right above. Are you gonna murder those? No, I want to look at them. Okay. Well, while I'm, well, I'm saying that I found this uh, little heart thing in the. Uh, well, well, I, I found this little heart thing, uh, in a cave that was kind of like this one, just really short in this biome. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh, and then I consumed it. I ate it, and then it increased my max health by one. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, and what was the thing you grabbed? I was distracted. A by little the heart thing. Oh, you just found it. Okay, got it. Oh, I think you gotta, yeah. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> nice save. I put it on the very edge to make it go slightly higher. No. Slightly higher. I guess you can stack them on top of each other. Oh! oh you just got poked on something. Might have been a. Oh a no! Leaf. Oh no! Soul eaters! They're here for your soul. Oh yeah, get poked. Oh, 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 it's trying to get you. It's trying to get or you. Or right, no, it's an eater of souls. I, uh, they're probably mad at me for for making it sound less, like, I don't know, cool? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that was pretty Wait, so cool. I attacked the guy on the, on the, the, okay, wait, I'm gonna show you guys a piece here, uh, this, uh, Birthed from the corruption of as being of pure malice, its soul instincts are for, are to pursue, punish, and kill. I like how you can come up with a really dramatic enemy that sounds super evil, where most of that is just explaining why they have really simple AI. It's like its only purpose is to fo uh, is to follow you and kill you. I'm like, yep, yeah, yep. We made the AI really, really simple. <laughs> That's what zombies are for too in State of Decay. It's just. Uh, Part of the reason we like zombies is because their AI is just very simple. Also, wait, have you seen anyone, like, knowing how to use the mana? Oh, uh, let's see here. I don't know if anybody said anything about how to use mana. I didn't, I didn't catch anybody saying that. Oh, Zedric is confirming that crystal hearts are littered around the world and that that's how you increase your health. Uh, so he's confirming what you said about that. Oh no, they're coming from the right now! Coming from everywhere! Oh, look, it's like, it's like a... A little baby. A little baby one. It's like a, like a daddy one and a little kid. Yeah. Oh, you should definitely murder them. Yes. Yeah. That's my dad. Oh. Hey. Oh, that was my family. It, it seems like they've, like, called all their friends... It's like, I killed a child, and they're like, no, you can't kill the child. They like, called a posse together to come and punish or, the or they, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you seem like you might be in trouble in a sec. Oh, yeah, I must eat mushrooms. Which is not a good idea in real life. Don't just, like, find the mushroom on the ground. It's like, oh, it's like the healing mushroom from Terraria. Yeah. Yeah, mushrooms have a lot of different random effects on people when you eat them. Oh, you got a couple of uh, soul eaters, like, under the ground down yeah, there, Yeah, I knew stuck. about that, so I was trying to get, so I was trying to place some wood. I can usually place them when it has the wood icon, but yeah, it's weird. Oh, there you go. Here, if I get too close, they might be able to figure out how to get around you. Oh, oh, more coming from the right. I know. Your confidence in this game is, is inspiring. <laughs> like, I would just be like, ah, no! 
freaking out. And you're just like, whatever, I'm gonna keep building my my scaffold. Ooh, run chunk. Is that, is, that, is that a good thing? Uh, I don't think it does anything. Oh, okay. It, you might be able to use it to craft something, but that's the only thing I can think of. You can't eat it. So Dr. Lackenstein says certain weapons use mana, like wands and staves. Oh, that makes sense. And, wait, wait, and, what's a stave? Uh, staves is the plural of staff. Oh, staff! Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because so it's like magic power. Yeah, it's probably, I should probably pronounce it staves, honestly. But, uh, yeah, it's spelled staves. We usually say staves. Boom, there you go. And, uh, Zedric points out that books as well, as weapons, are, uh, fueled by mana. Wait, wait, books? Apparently you got, you or, got like, books. Like spell books? I guess so. Maybe like history books, like you just like reading them like bore characters to death. I don't know. But you and you need your mana so that you don't have to sacrifice your health. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So it feels like. Are, so are you just like here to like farm soul eaters, basically? No, I'm trying to go to the cave to light it up and see what's inside, oh, and gotcha. kill those soul eater guys. You just keep getting distracted by these external soul eaters. No, they they would kill me if I igno if I ignored them. Okay, wait, no, I thought I was gonna get stuck with the others. <laughs> Boom! There you go. Oh. So I think it's funny how we're just constantly calling them soul eaters when they're called eaters of souls. But that feels linguistically appropriate. I think I think you can do that. I know, but they're probably just mad at us that we're that we're say that that we're. That, that we're saying it less formally. I guess that's true. Some people do get get unhappy if you don't use their formally. <clears throat> the money fell. Oh no, do you have to dive all the way in now? No, I just... Oh no. Oh, wait a second, uh, 5,000 just spawned. 5,000? No. Oh, three? Uh, like four. Okay, okay, it's four. Ah! Oh no, this could go badly. I like how you kind of like can like poke in different directions, like you're trying to like hold them all off. Oh wait, I just got one of the guys stuck. Oh no! Ah! Oh no! no I'm oh. I'm gonna. Oh. Yep. No, I died. Wait a second! I was so close to water. Uh, maybe you just have. To, maybe it wasn't deep enough, though. Yeah, that yeah, makes but sense. Yeah, but with the knowledge, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna build a. Gonna yep. build a block right here. It's my spawn. Okay. So I'm gonna build the house around that. You see, he he's shooting an arrow. I just popped that guy's balloon. Nice. He he he. He went onto a balloon. Mm -hmm. The, the blue slimes went onto a balloon. We didn't go on top of a balloon. He just like got a balloon. It's like made a loop at the bottom, jumped in the loop, and started flying away. Huh. So Dr. Lackensky <coughs> points out that if they were really eaters of souls, you wouldn't have been able to respawn because uh, they would have eaten your soul. But yeah, uh, and they also would probably wouldn't like destroy my body. <laughs> like yeah. they probably like. Open leave up a, with... a husk behind? Yeah, they wouldn't eat my body. They probably just like. Oh, uh, hi. Oh. That's a vulture. Are, are those scary or okay? Or fun to murder? Oh, looks like fun to murder might be the answer. They also try to attack you. But the scorpions don't? I don't know. If you're getting attacked by vultures, does that mean that you're made out of carrion? Maybe, because they don't normally kill things. They usually just look for scraps. I think maybe we might have discovered that you're actually a zombie, because vultures want to eat you, and soul eaters don't find anything inside of you to, uh, to eat. Huh. Also, I don't know where to find the traitor guys. Ooh, heart man. Oh. Thank you. Poor heart. I think he gave me heal, less heal potion. I'm going to make a mana star. 
Another one? Oh wow. Yeah. You you use five of the of the bomb stars. Wow, that's cool. I'm making a lot of progress on this stream. Oh hello purple man. What? Uh, this we're in the we're in the 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 the, the field like area. Yeah. So that's where this music is coming from. Oh, got it. Must be inter interesting to decide what. Music I got goes a paper airplane. What music goes with what biome? You do have a paper airplane. What, what do you do with that? Is it just like your science class in real life? <laughs> you, think you can get these to go thirty feet. <laughs> also, uh, uh, uh. I uh, wanted to say that I went to second furthest. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, so we were just we just did a uh, a project uh, yesterday for her science class where we had to test uh, different designs of paper airplanes and yeah, and you you made one that went really far. Yeah, it went for thirty five feet both times. It's pretty cool. So we're going to ammo. So Zedric says, I once built a cactus building made of cactus, a pumpkin building made out of pumpkin, and a glowing mushroom building made out of a mushroom, made, made out of mushroom for uh, for a base compound. That kind of reminds me of you in Minecraft making all of your uh, bee palaces out of yeah, I beehives. I really like making making be large beehives and then like, the, okay, I, what I like doing is I build a tree that is at least that, that where the trunk is at least like it's like a three by has a, can have a can have a like like a space in the middle mm -hmm. oh, like a hollow tree yeah 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 like a hollow tree oh uh, and then like and then like i also make it so that the inside is um so that the inside of the of the tree is honeycomb mm-hmm and then, uh, and then I make the hole like really, really deep, so that I can make a large room. To so make like an underground beehive that comes out through a tree. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> she makes crazy stuff in Minecraft sometimes. It's really. Cool. <laughs> How did I knock that guy out so far? It's crazy. Oh, I tried to do it again, but he had two less health. Also, my uh, normal block, the, the block I always use for everything is yeah. usually, um, it's a grass. Uh, uh, it's usually dirt, but I didn't have too much dirt si since I didn't make a, a tunnel to, a safe tunnel to lead everywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, so, um, I, so, like, so, like, uh, Oh, look at that eye. It's blind. Oh, weird. Hmm. It wasn't opening the door for some reason, so yeah. I just, like, pressed B to open it manually. Oh, we've almost got it. Gross. So I am starting to get kind of tired, so we should figure out like what the last thing you want to do is. Oh, I want to explore a cave in the video. Okay. Okay, so I will go find the cave. So are <clears throat> caves just as dangerous during the day as they are at night, like in Minecraft? Mm, like, or, or are they no, more dangerous? actually in Minecraft, the caves are more dangerous during the day. Because more because the because at night the, the monsters will spawn uh, on the surface make and the mob cap makes it so less will spawn. In the case. Oh, I didn't actually realize. So don't mine at night is completely wrong, unless you're just trying to make the game hard. Well, actually, yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Absolutely. 
What? Yeah, so that, yeah, that, uh, you're right. You know, I, I used to always disagree with that song, too. Whenever, so there's a song, I, I don't know if you all have heard it, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's internet an internet meme kind of song. But it's a, uh, it, yeah, called Don't Mind at Night. I think it's based on last Fri Friday night by yeah. King Perry. Yeah. But it says Don't Mind at Night. But it's silly because actually night is the perfect time to go mining for the reason that Calliope said. And also because at night, I mean, there's nothing, I mean, in, in, in the daytime, there's all this stuff you can do outside. So you don't want to go mining during the day. You want to go mining at night when there's nothing better to do. Yeah, other than sleeping. Yeah, so that song was garbage. I mean, they put it together pretty well, but it was uh, incorrect. I like... Oh, sorry. No, that's uh, it. Uh, I like how the torches... How when the torches drop, uh, when they're, like, like, like dropped on the ground, like, as an item, they still produce the light. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I, I like games that try to be sort of... That relentlessly follow their own physical rules, you know? Look! Look, it's still glowy. Yeah. Can I pick it up, man? No, that's pretty cool. Come on. I like that. There are so many stuff. Oh no, you were slain! I didn't even realize I had low health. <laughs> I w my body was mangled by zombie. Gross. Okay, I should build the house now. Cool. Well, why don't we Why don't we make building the house be the the thing we end on today, and then later on, uh, we can stream this again, and, and you can do some more. I wanted. I wanted to do the. I wanted to do the the, the, the Cult of the Lame of the next stream. Well, maybe it's stream after that, then. I'm just thinking, like, I've got very limited energy. I don't know how much longer I can, I can stay upright. Okay. I'll go, I'll, we can go... Uh, let's go to... Let's see if this cave goes deeper. Okay. I don't good. remember how we ended this cave. <laughs> kind of fun how you can kind of like a song like this can kind of get deep into your brain if you listen to it often enough it all looks like it goes down a little further than at least than we've been able to place torches oh water and and, oh, it, and money a death oh my death <laughs> you died there yeah oh yeah that's when the, the boulder, boulder hit you that's right i forgot about that boulder that was crazy yeah i'm gonna put a torch here on this wall Nice. A tiny little wall. I'm also uh, gonna put one there. Hey there, uh, Seder Bloodstone. Thanks for joining us. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Wow, oh, there's a bunch of freaking boulders in here. Kind of reminds me of a game I used to play when I was, I think, younger than you. Yeah, yeah. Called bold, called Boulder Dash. Which like, was... like, like Boulder Dash, but Boulder. Exactly. I love that you got that. I actually learned the word Boulder Dash from playing Boulder Dash. Huh. Um. And you dash away from the boulders. You it's basically perfect. do. Yeah, well, you're trying to, like, uh, solve these puzzles. Like, you're in the side-scrolling world like this, only it's just full of boulders. And you're digging. Whenever you're moving into dirt, you would dig it. And if you dug underneath the boulder, the boulder would fall. And so they would set all these elaborate traps, and you'd have to figure out how to get to the exit um, with all the boulders in your way. Is it, like, weird Minesweeper? Um, it's, it's similar. It, it was, like, built on a grid, kind of like Minesweeper. Mine sweeper, you can put you put red flags on the on the mines. Yeah, mine sweeper is played like from the top down, like you're just a person who can touch any. any yeah, so you it's want. like so it's like mine sweeper, except if you go below the traps, then it's then that's bad. But it's it's also kind of like terraria because you're running a character around. You're not just clicking yeah, on stuff. Yeah, it's terrific. <laughs> yeah. This is the, yeah. This is basically the future of of of, of Boulder Dash. Is what this game is. I had no Ooh. idea I could do that. And I was very safe from all the water. That's cool. Because torches break in the water. Yeah, so uh, Zedric says he used to play it on his Commodore 64. I think I had it on an Atari. I think that's what I played it on. Oh, there's water there. See the blue? Oh, water. Yeah. So if you do oh, and there's, is that gold underneath the water? or? Uh, yeah, that's gold. So if you built a scaffold up there, could you mine the gold but then have all the water land on your head? Oh, there's also gold over over here. Oh, gonna, that's true. I'm gonna grab that gold. Okay. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make the hole only two blocks because I only need to make it two blocks, and you can easily run over a two block hole. Oh, okay. So you're not just making. You don't want to be making it just a giant trap for yourself, basically. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the gold. This can. Pr yeah, this can mine the gold. Uh. 
I don't know how to turn ore into material. Oh, there's probably some kind of smelter or whatever that you need to make, but you don't know how to do yeah, it. I, yeah, I don't know how to do it. Let's do some research. Yeah, I'm just getting all the gold. Careful, get to walk through the floor. how to use it later. Oh, wow. I could barely jump that. I didn't think you were going to make that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to make that either. I just wanted to try. So, ah! so what happens if you just start spilling a bunch of water? Does it will it like push you around or does it just go past you? I, I think it just goes past you and you and you can't breathe in the water, but you have like a little while to get to the surface and get air. Oh, it shows you a bunch of bubbles, right? Yeah, it shows yeah, it shows you a row of bubbles. Does it play the uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog no. uh, drowning music? No. Oh, it doesn't man. go like. <laughs> Speaking of music that would get stuck in your head, when I used to play the original, like, actually, I, I think it was Sonic 2 that I played the most, but I, I played Sonic 1 as well, but, but yeah, with that, that drowning music would just stick in my head forever. Yeah, it was, it's so, it's so, what is the word, uh, anticipating. Oh yeah, suspenseful? It's very, it's suspenseful. Yes. It's suspenseful. Svenful, it reminds you of people named Sven. Take this, bat. Ha! Okay, it dropping money makes me think that it was hostile. So I was listening to um, Hank Green's podcast, and he apparently did some research and found out that uh, bats probably poop on their own faces. Oh, so they're upside down. They're upside like, down. And they're pooping on their own faces. But... Yep. Only their poop is very dry, so it just bounces off their face and they don't notice. Oh, huh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Like, yeah. Fleeting depth meter. Oh, look, I'm going so deep. Nice. Yeah, you're you're pretty far down there. Yeah, that, at your mini map. Yeah, I, just... I'm 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 breaking all these vases, uh, so that I can uh. Um, Ooh, hearts. Get stuff. Ooh, yay. Twenty health. So uh, uh, Jedi Cytrix says that when she heard that sonic music from you, she started getting tense automatically. Oh no! Ooh, it's all purple! Ooh, what does that mean? Is I don't it, know. Is it the purple biome? Like you won't be able to dig through that down there? Maybe. Or, or is it something else? Oh, there's something down there. What was the glowing? I don't know. I need, I need a torch. Okay. Yeah, nothing bad will happen. Oh, okay, cool. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oof. Yeah. Get stabbed. Ah. If I pointed slightly... If I had pointed slightly more up, then I could have uh, deflected that guy. Sploosh. Uh, no, I need light. And torches are fire, so they don't work in the water. That makes sense. Wow. wow. But now your torch is on a wall that you might want to mine through if you want to mine that purple stuff. Oh, wait, yeah, that's, that's, that's some purples. I didn't realize what the purple was. What is the purple? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't think I can mine it. I might need the... Oh, wait a second, it tri Oh, it just <laughs> changed even, your... I didn't even realize that was a wall I could build, I could put stuff on. Oh, wow. That's yeah. cool, though, that it, it automatically transferred your uh, torch. Yeah, I don't think I can mine that stuff. I might need to make more gold into gold that is usable gold. So awesome I see a jellyfish man. Awesome Twitch dude just showed up and uh, asked me where I've been. So uh, I've had COVID, and so I've been avoiding streaming just because it wears me out. But I'm making a special exception to do a stream with Calliope. But we are starting to run low on t on uh, my energy levels. So Calliope just wanted to make sure that she did a proper a proper dig before we left. Yeah, because I think a big part of Terraria uh, 
it is under the terrain. That does make sense. I said terrain because I fit because it sounds like terrain. Oh wow! Look, it's going from like has dirt and stone to has stone. Wow. Also, there's a waterfall. Oh yeah. So the background changes as you go deeper, huh? So now you feel like you're deeper because you don't see dirt anymore. It's just bedrock, basically. So you're gonna stick a torch on the. There's this cobweb. What happens if you put a torch on the cobweb? I don't think you can. It just slows you down, and I want to get all the cobweb. I'm pretty sure you can make cob cobweb rope. But I have a, a 510 rope right now, so I don't need to make cobweb rope. You're probably fine, yeah. Got I didn't mean to make. I didn't mean to throw oh. a grenade. You just threw a bob down there. I meant to throw my boomerang. Oh, you should throw another one to make that hole bigger. I could literally just run into things if I had the hell. Because <laughs> of your cactus armor? Yes, I have ca I'm cactus. I'm a cactus. Ju ju I'm just a cactus. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll throw another thing down here. I'll just make sure it gets into the corner. Okay, that definitely did not go into the corner. Okay, yeah, that doesn't oh. make a hole. It's underwater. Oh, so it kind of fizzles underwater? Oh, I'm sad. Also, it's a grenade, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's a grenade, not not a normal bomb, so it wasn't made for destruction. Oh, it's just for killing things. Yeah, it's just for killing things. Okay, that makes sense. Um, you can make bombs. I have some bombs. Uh, I'll do that and make and make the hole bigger. Actually, no, I won't. I'm actually just gonna mine it. Okay. Hey! What hurt you? Was that a worm? Okay, I think the zombie said that that was a worm. <laughs> right. It sounded like he said, yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, no. No, it was a trap. It's a trap. Some kind of poisony trap. Oh, no. Are we going to die? Oh, we were slain. Well, you know what? That's probably a good place to I end. couldn't. Yeah, it was poison. I couldn't find the antidote. <sighs> well, hey, that, yeah. I think that was well timed because I think I am on my last legs. We should probably. Yeah. Probably give it up, but next time you come in here, you'll be able to uh, build yourself a little house and all yeah, kinds I of think, stuff. Yeah, I think I think I might build a small house while, uh, like like on the, on the on the, on, the, on the Xbox that's over there. That makes sense. Through that wall. Through that wall, exactly. So, well, hey, thanks, Calliope, for uh, sharing this with us. Uh, are you ready for us to wrap this up? Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, I'm gonna stick a fox in your face. And Yay. some Calliope videos as well. Ugh. Ooh, videos. Yeah.